Hey guys, this is Mark with Amity Technology. Uh, today we're going to do a little video on our, our strut spacers, on how to put them in and why to put them in, and what what uh, we're trying to accomplish by doing it. Uh, if we had our, our unit set up with no spacers in it, I'll come up here and we'll draw this up. This is what we call our dry position. If we're in dry ground and we need a little wider cut from our lifter wheels uh, to bring in a little more dirt to help keep the beast in the wheels, this is how we would have it set up. Uh, once we get uh, wet conditions, a little sticky, we don't want to take as much dirt in, we just loosen this nut up. <clears throat> After we get our, uh, our tensioning bolt loose, we'll just take both of our shims, slide them right over our, su uh, our support bolt, and we'll tighten up the nut again. And we'll dry everything up tight, and we'll, we'll notice the relativity of the lifter wheels to our, our roll of beats that we have down here. We can see that we're taking a little, little narrower cut alongside our beats. Uh, lift, bringing in less dirt. Uh, the one thing to remember is when we do go uh, put our shims in, we're also going to go deeper with it, so we might have to change our overall depth. Um, there is also the ability to put a third spacer in this uh, in extremely wet conditions like we experienced in 2019 here in the Red River Valley. We had a few operators running with three shims installed, which drops it further, but also takes a skinnier cut of dirt alongside the beats. Very simple, very effective adjustment to make in the field. The one thing I have to caution guys, if they take their shims out to make sure our paddles, the, the brackets that hold our rubber paddles will clear the wheels. So just a quick little uh, uh, video here on uh, how to set our lifter wheels from dry to wet conditions. Thanks.